Tony Ortega, you know, at one point was really um, shining, was really sort of um, sucking up to me because I was sort of the attention of a lot of media and he wanted to get his media cred. And he flew all the way down to South Texas to my, my home. And um, he had just got fired from the Village Voice where he, which he had sort of converted into this anti-Scientology platform for two years. And at a, at a rare moment where he had a motive to be somewhat candid, um, he told me about the circumstances on which he left the uh, Village Voice. And the circumstances, he said, you know, this can't go anywhere, but what happened was is that the Village Voice had been accused and in fact had been factually been investigated by law enforcement of human trafficking and uh, promoting the child sex slave um, industry by its back pages ads. And he pointed, he, he told me that, you know, Scientology had been exposing that and he said the problem is, is that Scientology was more accurate than anybody thought. And that in fact, the Village Voice was almost exclusively financed by that human trafficking operation and that there were profits beyond that. And so the owners, now that Scientology was exposing it and law enforcement was investigating it, said, decided they had to get rid of Tony Ortega because he was just obsessed with Scientology and he was keeping their focus on him and their operation. So they needed to get rid of him. And so in order to, uh, to do that, they, um, and, and to extract his cooperation in keeping quiet about what he knew, which is interesting because of course, he's the first guy to accuse anybody who, who doesn't go after Scientology as being bought off, right? He literally agreed to cover it up and obstruct justice for a payout of essentially a two-year buyout deal. <laughs>